Hey, Corey. Yep, I'm here. So I was playing around with this. Let's say this is my suction cup. I'm going to go to brushes. You can see I was playing around with it here. I'm going here. I'm going to go to um, pattern brush. And okay, so you can see what it does here. See it? Yeah, okay. Yes. And then let's just try this for a second. So what it's going to do is sort of create that thing like we we're talking about, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, you can also, whenever you create a brush, you already know this, but I can do that, and then I can apply it. Right? Right, right. And now, what happens if you yeah. use the um, width tool on that? I don't know. Let's try it. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, I'm just curious. That'd be interesting. Yeah. There you go. I could use that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. See, you learn something every day. Yeah, I could totally use that. Yeah, because you could actually make it look like it's bending around the form. Exactly. That's kind of what I was hoping to do. And not just everything look so, you know, uniform. Look at that. That's cool. You, you might be able to get a hot air balloon shape, too. I'm yeah. Saying. Wow. Oh, that's weird. It changed the whole thing. So now when I paint with it, it just does that. That's weird. Oh, really? So you're editing the... Um... The brush itself which is kind of weird i don't know let's see let's see if it does it again that's that first drop down uniform no then it went back to normal when i create a new brush but if i do it oops it seems like if i do it right after yeah it seems like if i do it in the same riff then it changes all of them but if i go back and i you know reapply the brush and it doesn't and then I'm okay, curious cool. to know if you can kind of come in here. They make the controls on these so weird. Side. I don't want that. But let's, can we go pressure? I always forget what these two do. I think it's just how it pinches the ends. I can't remember. It's the minimum and maximum. Is that what it is? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. So I'm using a pressure sensitive pin now because I set it up to be pressure sensitive. Right. So there's quite a it's few controls. A more organic look to it. Yeah, there's a quite, that's actually interesting. I've never actually played around with this before. Look at that. It's like a hip, hippie poster. Yeah, exactly. That's funny you say that. I'm on a, I was just looking at, look at that. That's cool, man. So I'm starting off yeah, with a light pressure, well. then I'm building up the pressure. That's really cool. Like, I've never used that before, but I'll use it now. That could be really cool, too, by the way, you guys, if you want to build a, um, like, if I want to build a cool little interesting. I don't know, like little foreground element stuff sort of hanging in the foreground. If I built like an interesting brush, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that looks good. It's better to make a peacock or so. Yeah. Or hanging beads or something. Hanging what? The hanging beads. Yeah, like, see, I could go. If I made this like some sort of plant like thing, or like pirate treasure, that could be jewelry. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff we could do this. So it's really. You wouldn't think that would be a pattern brush. That's what's weird about it. It's a pattern brush. And it's the same deal as we did before with the, by the way, you can go in here and go, I don't know what I did with it. Let's do this again. Ah, any shapes. Let's see this. Let's go brushes. 
drag this in there. Let's do a scatter brush. I think we did an art brush before. And then again, now let's do pressure, pressure, scatter, pressure. Let's just do pressure. I'm gonna knock down. Now this one's just a scatter brush, so I can just set it up for how it scatters. And then if I right, drag it, right. if I do it really lightly, if you like the spacing's too far apart, that'd be actually cool if you're, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool things it'd be cool for. Where is it here? Let's try this one. Let's go. That's similar to the symbol sprayer, I guess. Yeah, so I like it. Actually, I kind of like this. Yeah. So what I just did is I made it more um, closer together. Look at that, that's cool. Light, lean on it, pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's the same process as we made our other brushes. Then you can go in there and make them pressure sensitive and stuff like that if you've got a tablet. All right, you guys, I'll let you go.